Welcome to the first episode of The Real Famous. This project is designed to bring light upon those people in my life and community that are inspirational leaders. I spent a couple evenings with Russell Thomas, learning about his wild color art and the impact his art has had on our community. I have admired Russell for several years now, and I've seen the amazing things he has done for our community on stage and on canvas. He is a community leader, my friend, a philanthropist, and an artist. Hi, I'm Russell Thomas. I am a wild color portrait artist. Well, I came to Fort McMurray as part of a, a decade-long journey in, uh, in radio. I, wasn't, I was not a very good college student or a university, so I sucked. <laughs> I, I, just, I was a great high, high school student and I just brutally sucked at university because I started you know, coming out of my shell a little bit and getting into trouble and those kind of things. And, and I found my, my style of learning was not, I wasn't, I, wouldn't, I wasn't book smart, if you will. I didn't learn from theoretical discussions of this, that, and the other thing. I found that I really was juiced by doing stuff. Well, I ended up uh, running a theater company at, at the college that I was at. And it was a great experience. And um, but then I realized this university thing wasn't going anywhere. So I decided to just get a job. So I was a donut baker. And then a buddy of mine said, well, I'm going to this broadcasting college today to sign up. Want to come? I said, sure. I'd given it no thought, no, no forethought. I ended up in broadcasting school. No, there was no wind, like it was no wind chill, but it was minus 43 and so cold. The shocks in the car didn't work on the way up. And I got a flat tire in the middle of bloody nowhere. But I fell in love with the place right away. And I, I knew that if I was offered the job that I would take it because I just had I just had a gut feeling that it was the right place for me. Yeah, so that's what brought me to Fort McMurray. I got involved in theater right away. Well, the first show I ever helped out with was uh, a musical called Crazy For You. I just needed to get involved in some way, so I helped with this building the set. And my first uh, show was Twelfth Night on, um, if you remember Studio 99? It used to be 99 Cent Theater. And uh, so, I, and it was a mix of college students and um, uh, co uh, and community, and the patrons paid ninety nine cents, literally. Because my thing is wild color portraits. That's what I've become known for. It, I didn't know this, but it kind of is reminiscent of something called fauvism, and fauvism was in the era of Matisse and. Gauguin and those guys at the turn of the previous century where they were using wild colors to do things and uh, fauve, fauve, fauve is wild beasts in French. I just couldn't figure out why I needed to use the easel until I started using the easel. <laughs> and, then, and then I can't imagine. But one of the things that uh, doing live painting has helped with is my adaptability. So sometimes I'm in, I'm in situations where I don't, you know, I don't have the best circumstance. Uh, you know, let's say uh, the light sucks or like I had to use a... So this stage is kind of stage one, just feeling out, putting down a first layer of paint. And the, the character, the moment you sort of shape out the eyes, you begin to see the the human being and it's healthy for my soul and I feel like I'm leaving something behind in the world. So sometimes there's hard projects that stretch my skills like this one, not that it was hard, but I, but I took it in a kind of a different direction that was a little risky, but I'm glad I did it. I'm a long ways with me. You can tell it's, it's pretty beaten up. It's got lots of paint scattered all over it. At the root of it is creating these magical moments of humanity that, and there's been, I mean, I could tell, I could keep going on and on with the moments that have happened. So at a macro level, that's why I do this. It's the driver, it's, it's the uh, making uh, 
uh, a wife tear up when she sees a portrait of her husband uh, uh, sparking a whole dialogue about a guy that died in World War II because I just felt like painting him around Remembrance Day and I gifted it to a family that were complete and utter strangers to me. The best way is on the, the Russell Thomas Art Facebook page. And I say that because it's, it's kind of like Grand Central Station and my wife helps me by feeling some of the communication that happens there. It helps me, it helps us if people go through that. But um, the other thing is that uh, all the paintings are on one single spot, which is russellthomas.ca. You can see all 190 of them ish <laughs> changes every day so of course anybody who ever wants to come for a tour of the studio i mean i paint all every weekend and, and i love when people come to visit and when it's a beautiful day you can go outside and see the the murals that started the whole journey off you tell me to shut up anytime you need me to shut up because i tend to prattle on it